Hello everybody! In this video, I will be building a super fast, super simple, super easy playpen that can be stored in a very small space. So it's perfect for if you do not have the space to leave a playpen set up permanently and need to be able to put it away quickly. I have all of my supplies here. I have these wooden boards. They are coated on one side and not coated on the other. And these are 50 by 30 centimeters, so the playpen wall will only be 30 centimeters tall, which is okay because this playpen will only be used under close supervision. Definitely make it at least 50 centimeters tall if you want to step away for even a minute to go to the bathroom or anything else, or if you want to put any tall accessories near the wall. Because hamsters can be little escape artists, and we do not want any escaped hamsters. And I am using tape to connect the playpen walls. And I believe this tape is similar or the same as duct tape. I have no idea, but it's just this really strong tape. And I am going to use it to put this together. Now, I do not recommend using this technique for playpens that are being used without supervision. So for example, for a permanent playpen that is accessible 24 seven, I would not use this method because obviously the tape should not be chewed as it's not healthy and can be dangerous. So yeah, do not use this if it's not under supervision. And I will start by taping together two walls. I have the two I want to start with here. I'm just laying them flat on the ground. You can also do this on a table. And then I push them together, but I leave a gap in between. This is very important. And I make the gap around the, the width of my finger. And this gap needs to be here so I can fold the two pieces together afterwards. You will see it later in the video. But just really leave a little gap in between, make it a bit too big, but not too small. And then I just take the tape and tape the two sides together all the way to the bottom. And then I flip it around and put tape on the other side. You do not have tape that is very strong. You can of course do this multiple times. This tape is very strong, um, so I only need to put it once on every on each side but use as much tape as needed. And then I do flip it around once again and just do a tiny little strip here just so it holds together nicely. And then I cut off the tape, obviously. And now I have my first two walls. And now you will see why the gap was so important here. Um, now I can fold the walls together. I can move them make the walls um, be the shape that I need it to be. So this is very flexible and variable. You can set it up um, in whatever shape you want it to be. And it folds down into a really small little bundle. So you can store this in a very small space. I used to store this playpen under my bed. Now I don't have it there anymore, but in a small cupboard. Um, so definitely great if you do not have a lot of space. And I repeat that step with all the other walls as well until I have this long snaky thingy of playpen walls. And yeah, as you can see here again, it folds down into a really small little bundle. So it's very practical. And the setting this up is also very easy. It's not really time consume consuming, so you can really do this in an evening and put the playpen away later. And this is what it looks like all set up. And once again, please only use this method under close supervision. I have it set up like this, that I am using one side of Lilia's um, enclosure cupboard thingy as a wall, so I can extend the uh, playpen well even further, but you don't have to do that. I really hope that this helped you and I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye!